for your Japanese lesson. First, just relax and listen. Japanese. Hi, it's me, Samugu. The people in the clips were talking about their feelings after watching a movie and eating ramen noodles. It seems the people in both scenes had conflicting opinions. Today, we'll learn the negative form of adjectives used to express feelings and thoughts. First, we'll take a look at the conversation in the ramen restaurant. Where the two people talk about whether they thought the spicy ramen was good or not. This is a popular ramen place. Let's see what the customers think about it. That ramen sure looked spicy. Take note that in Japan, you slurp your noodles. Now, the two were talking about their thoughts about the ramen. Oishi means delicious. The first person said oishi desu, and the second person said oishiku nai desu. He changed the first person's sentence and used the adjective's negative form. Oishi desu. Oishiku nai desu. The affirmative form is oishi desu, while the negative form is oishiku nai desu. For the negative form, e at the end of the adjective is replaced with ku and nai desu is added. Nai means not. Oishiku nai desu. And that's how you get the negative form of adjectives. Now, let's hear their thoughts after they finish eating. This time, it's going to be the past tense form. The form is a little different when it's in the past tense form. Let's take a look again. Did you get how to say the past tense form? Oishii desu became oishikatta desu. You simply have to replace i with katta. We also heard the negative past tense form. The man said oishiku nakatta desu. You simply have to change nai to nakatta. Now, let's listen to it again. Oishiku nakatta desu. So now we know how to say the negative and past tense form of adjectives. Oishi desu becomes oishiku nai desu. Shiroi desu becomes shiroku nai desu. Tanoshi desu becomes tanoshiku nai desu. It's easy, right? Now, do you remember that there was another way to express the negative form of adjectives? When you're meditating at a temple in Kyoto, it is not lively. Nigiyaka ja arimasen. Some other examples would be shizuka ja arimasen, kirei ja arimasen. So just adding ja arimasen is another way of expressing the negative form. I hope you got that. Japanese. 
Do you remember how to count from 1 to 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Today, we'll learn how to count from 11 to 99. In Japanese, the rule for counting those numbers is really easy. Let's take 11 as an example. If you write it out as a numerical formula, it becomes 10 plus 1 equals 11. In order to say 11 in Japanese, simply read the numbers in the formula. 10 is ju, and 1 is ichi. So 11 is ju ichi. Ju ichi. In the same manner, 12 is 10 plus 2. So that would be juni. Juni. Ju san. Jushi, Jugo. It all follows the same pattern. It's a cinch. Twenty is two times ten, so you say Niju. Niju. The same rule applies throughout. So thirty is Sanju, fifty is Goju, and eighty is. Hachiju. Then, can you guess how to say 35? The teacher will tell you how. San times ju plus go. That's right. Sanju go. Then, how would you say 99? Q times ju plus q is that's right q ju q see it wasn't hard at all japanese kanji -zi. many kinds of trees grow in japan here is the kanji for tree this kanji sort of looks like an actual tree with branches growing out from the trunk in the middle. Many of the kanji related to trees and plants have this kanji part for tree as a part of it. Let's take a look at some trees that bear fruit. This tree bears a cute fruit with a sweet aroma, peach, momo, in late autumn, you can see orange persimmons growing in farmer's yards. Persimmons being hung up to dry is a sign that winter is just around the corner. Kaki. Japanese pears announce the beginning of autumn. Nashi. In this kanji, the part for tree is at the bottom. Japanese chestnuts are a great autumn delicacy. Kuri. Kanji for these tasty fruits and nuts all have the tree kanji. Japanese. Let's see another scene that uses today's key phrase, the negative and past tense forms of adjectives. Check it out. Koss here is from New Zealand. He's come to the movies with his Japanese girlfriend. Here's the movie he wants to see. It's a horror flick that everyone's talking about around the world.
面白かったですいやー怖かったです怖くなかったです可愛い,いゾンビでしたよカスは the one who invited his girlfriend, but he was scared and she wasn't at all. コワイ means scary. カス s girlfriend will use a negative form of this. コワイです。コワクナイです。After the movie was over, The two used the past tense form to talk about how they felt. Poor Kaas replaced E in Kawaii with Katta. On the other hand, his girlfriend said, Kuakunakata des. Kuakunakata des. To say the negative form of the past tense phrase, わかったです。You replace かった with くなかった。The past tense and negative forms of adjectives are really useful, so make sure you learn them. Japanese easy. Phrase easy. This is a Japanese sweet shop in Tokyo. いらっしゃいませ。The owner, David Thane, just loves the Japanese language. The shop staff, Ray, speaks English fluently. Customers here come for a taste of Japanese treats and the Japanese language. Hope you enjoy it. Hello. <laughs> Excuse me, is this David's cafe? Yes, that's right. Oh, great. Wonderful. My friend recommended this place to me. Ah, great. Please come in. Ojama shimasu. Ah, you know, ojama shimasu. <laughs> that's an interesting expression. On the menu today, we have the expression, ojama shimasu. Here's a typical example of how you would use ojama shimasu. The man is waiting for his friend to come. Visitors say ojama shimasu when going to someone's house. You know, ojama shimasu,、um, that's an expression that we use when we go into someone's house. Ojama shimasu in English? You know, I'm not sure what that means.、Mm. You know, if someone invites you into your house, then when you go there, you can say, ah, thank you for inviting me. But ojama shimasu is actually a little bit more, you know, casual. We use that with like friends and. Right, right. But I don't think we really use this word in business situations, do we? Oh, that's right. I see. So, what is the literal meaning of the word ojama shimasu? The word jama means to interrupt or to get in the way. So, when you say ojama shimasu and enter somebody's house, it would mean you're apologizing for interrupting them. So it's quite a polite expression.、Then. Yes, it is. Right. Yeah, we use it when we go into someone's house.、Mm. Probably not when we go into a you know, restaurant or store,、mm. like you used it a few minutes ago. Ah, I get it. That explains something to me. A while ago, I went to the hospital, and when I went in to see the doctor, I knocked on the door and said, Ojama shimasu. And she looked at me a little bit strangely. Right, because a hospital is not their house. So, If we say ojama shimasu going into a house, what do we say when we're leaving? Oh, you could say ojama shimashita. That's the past tense. So ojama shimasu and ojama shimashita. Yeah, right. Those are、uh, two expressions that we should probably learn together ojama shimasu and ojama shimashita. <laughs>